this is the vegan anarchist and in this video which I haven't made in a long time I'm well it's gonna be a controversial topic but especially among the laugh and well you see it's Well, I just, I'm just going to go with it. I mean, hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah, you know. Anyways, the, the topic of this video is going to be why I left the left. Now, by leaving the left, I'm not trying to become a centers or a right winger. I am becoming what's called, uh, I am a post-leftist, post -leftist, or a knowing anarchist. No... You, I know a lot of you are like, oh my god, you're here, But let me tell you what post-leftism or knowing anarchy means to me. It means simply this. It means reaffirming anarchist values. Reaffirming anarchist values and distancing yourself from the left and create a living tradition to trans to transcend the left right spectrum because the left wing and right wing in the center we don't want no wings we we are we don't need wings to fly that's why I call myself a knowing anarchist but this is an abstract let me t t t t talk to y'all something about it um, what got me into it is because I read Max Turner, and then I started reading post life stuff, and then I started reading nihilist anarchist literature, or nihilist anarchy. But I'm explaining you what those are later in a few in future videos, which is gonna come up. So subscribe, please. But here's some things about the issues I have with the left and how anarchy anarchists could fix that by moving away from the left. In essence. I'm not trying to move to the right. I'm trying to do something new. And yes, a lot of post leftists are how are shit, shit, shitty people like Bob Black, etc., like that. But the post leftism I'm I'm doing is trying to create something new after an anarchy without left, right, or center. Now, how so? By overcoming the limitation and the historical baggage of the left, we can affirm our fundamental anarchist principles, especially individualist ones. That doesn't say, mean I'm against. That doesn't mean I'm pro-capitalist. I'm not. I don't support patriarchy. I don't support any of that stuff or racism or any of that, or white supremacy. But I'm saying this. For too long. The anarchists have compromised itself too much with the left, which results in a uh, left anarchist fusion since the early days of anarchism. Now, let's make a distinction between anarchism and anarchy. And anarchism I'm talking about is the result of the Enlightenment after the French Revolution and the American Revolution, which sought to it's Eurocentric and it's from a European context with 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 all sorts of baggage from Europe, which is like Eurocentric values and morality and stuff like that. Well, anarchy I'm talking about is a living praxis, a living theory. Instead of relying on yes, I I love Max Turner, but instead of relying on on the on what Marx created and, and other leftist grand narratives, I think we should focus on everyday life. On not put in the part, and not just everyday life, but even with our bodies and our theory, we should develop what's called self theory. And we should, we should come up with our, our own theory of how. We fit in the well with our relationships, and with self theory, 
you negate the problem with the ideologists having you, you, but you have your own thing. But still, we can all be anarchists, you know. I'm critical of how anarchist organizations have seemingly sold out, like this, uh, the anarchists like the CNT, for example, sold out the anarchists in Spain. And I'm just critical of how the left has failed miserably throughout its history. Brothers, and in fact, a lot of them want to go back to 1917 or 1936 or 1968 when we live in the 21st century. I mean, unless you're watching this in, in the future, uh, t beyond the 21st century is an archive. It's, you know, I mean, if that's somewhat of humanity is somewhat collapsed by the you know, civilization. But, and also, I think I think it's bad. It's a bad idea for anarchists to argue to be moralistic like the left tend to be, to be overly obsessed with morality. Yeah, I am vegan, but uh, but my veganism nowadays isn't what it used to be in the old days. My veganism is based off of not that morality, but rather I have a I value animals. But just because you value something doesn't make it. Doesn't necessarily make it an ethical commitment or a moral commitment, because morality is, at the end of the day, a cop in a cop in your mind. That is morality. That, that is just that is morality it's and ethics. It's just fixed values that been reified and turned into something held above you or the uh, held above me or you. But. I, and I still support animal liberation. It's not, some now as anarchists do, a lot of egos don't. I'm both. But another thing is, do not fight for someone else's cause, whether it's the cause of the nation, which I know a lot of you all hate, or the cause of the Republicans or Democrats, or the cause of a, a, whatever abstractions or someone else's cause, unless you make it your own cause. Instead of fighting for the environment's cause, you make the environment cause your cause. And that's Max Stern in his first chapter, which is talking about that, but that is true of the true chapter of Ego is Own. In essence, my rejection from the laugh, uh, my, me leaving the laugh, and while still rejecting the right in the center, is a reaffirmation of anarchism because anarchism from the or anarchy from the day of inception was something different. Even anarchism from the other socialist movement, but it's now time to reemphasize the differences, to make the differences sharp, to 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 basically. We be, to basically, we to basically, uh, how do I say it? Reaffirm anarchy f from anarchism. To reaffirm anar anarchist values from from left from compromise or left leftists. Because no wing, I'm a no winger. I like to call myself a no winger as well. Typically, to people instead of a post left because post left still has the leftist baggage in there. People will be like, "What's that?" But when I say no wing, it's easier to explain because we don't need wings to fly. We deserve better as anarchists than what the left has given us. We ought to try. I'm trying to transcend the left and overcome the failures and the limitations of the left and its collectivistic attitudes. I know you all are gonna freak out when you even see the title, but if you're sitting here long enough, I congratulate you. And in this time, I want to close the video with some words. I am I am an anarchist because I believe because I believe in because I believe in fighting for my liberation. I am an I'm an I'm an anarchist because I'm an egoist and I'm also a nihilist. Not a nihilist in terms of renouncing life, but in terms of 
radically affirming life or rather celebrating life and I'll explain more about Nile is anarchy and some ego is anarchy but I suggest if you really don't agree with me to at least take my criticisms of, ver of ver and leftists and also centers and right in various contexts and possibly create not a utopia because the left like, I'm sorry to tell you all, but my revolution, no one's going to come and save me. No one's going to come and save you. It is up to uh, me and you, or if, if you, even if you, assuming you're an anarchist, to, to save ourselves and help each other. With, so, in essence, no one's coming to save us. The left has passed for too long clinging on to the idea of revolution like it's an end of the world event like Jehovah Witnesses or ex other religions do. When no. I'm not waiting for the proletariat. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not gonna idealize every proletariat as of as of, as of they're not uniqueness on their own with different interests and they're more than workers. Workers are creative of nothing, it's their uniqueness. If you don't know what creative nothing is, I'm going to explain to you in later videos. But the idea is, <coughs> at the end of the day, we need a mature conversation about the anarchist role of the left and we need to develop an anarchy not anarchism, because but an anarchist or anar theory or theory and practice of anarchy, anarchy for the 21st century and beyond. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masses, and watch out for them spooks. Yeah.